Head to North Dakota and you'll find the Ellingson family, running a ranch and raising a registered Angus cattle herd. Here's a day in the life of Julie Ellingson in her own words. I'm Julie Ellingson from St. Anthony, North Dakota. I'm a beef producer here in the south central part of our state. Let me tell you a little bit more about our beef operation. My husband Chad and I and our four children operate the Ellingson Angus Ranch. It's a registered Angus operation here in the heart of North Dakota. We've lived here for 12 years since we were married, but our legacy and background in the livestock business is, is much longer than that. My great-grandfather actually homesteaded just down the road, and part of the land that we run our cattle on today was part of his original homestead. We've been raising cattle for four generations now, with our children being the fifth, and so we have a long, proud history in the beef business. We're proud that our cattle go from here to, uh, many cases, other producers' herds. Uh, a cow-calf operation really is the first step in beef production, in getting beef on the plates of consumers. A cow-calf producer works with a cow herd, um, raises calves, and those calves go on for a couple of different purposes. Some of those steers and heifers will travel from the ranch to a feedlot where they're finished, other ones will be used, um, females for instance, as replacements for, for people's herds, and they will in turn be bred and, and become cows and, and produce more calves. And really taking care of cattle is, is a 24-7 job, really, and it's a team effort in our family. During calving time, for instance, mamas don't always want to give birth in the middle of the day when the sun is shining. A lot of times those, those births occur during the evening, and so after long after we go to bed, the alarms will go off multiple times, and my husband Chad and I tag team that project just because you, can, you can't uh, do it all on your own. Chad will check at 12, I'll check at 2, he'll check at 4, and so on. And we set multiple alarms and turn them off. I get lazy and don't even get out of my pajamas most of the time, but grab my flashlight and our dog Amber, and, and out we check to make sure that no one's, no one's calving or no one's having any difficulty in, in making sure that those new mothers are taken care of. And again, it's a tag team effort. Certainly all our family is involved. We have four small children, ranging in age from two to nine. Uh, our two-year-old probably isn't a whole lot of help in that regard yet, but our older children, six, eight, and nine, are integral parts of our operation as far as the day-to-day -day work goes. Every morning when, when we get up, if we're going on to uh, whatever the chore might be, if it's feeding or checking cattle, we do keep in mind that ultimately the work that we do, it starts here and, we're, and we raise cattle, but ultimately those cattle go on to be beef for consumers. And, and the best way, the best reminder of that is when I return to the breakfast table or the dinner table and I'm preparing the meal for my own family of, of four small children and my husband. And I'm a mom like every other mom in America and providing a safe, healthy product means everything to me and to taking care of my family. That's North Dakota rancher Julie Ellingson in her own words.